This is Drew from The Bike Peddler with another Tech Tip Tuesday. Today we're going to be discussing removing and reinstalling a rear wheel. A lot of people seem to struggle getting the chain and the derailleur off the cassette properly, so we're going to walk you through it this afternoon. First, we're going to start with a common V-brake system. V-brakes are pretty standard on older mountain bikes and a lot of hybrid bikes. The trick to removing a rear wheel with a V-brake is first releasing the brake. You do that by pulling the brake noodle out of the brake noodle cradle. Once the brake is open, you're gonna to to relieve the pressure on the chain by shifting your derailleur down to your hardest gear. From here, we're gonna to proceed to release the quick release gear we talked about last week. Pull the derailleur back and the wheel will fall straight down. To reinstall, we're just gonna do everything the exact opposite. Pull the wheel into the bike. We're gonna put half of the chain under the cassette, the other half of the chain onto the cassette. Let the skewer fall into the dropouts. Retension our quick release skewer until it closes properly. Return to our brake caliper. Make sure both tensioning springs are engaged with the caliper. Pull everything back together and set the noodle into the cradle. Second type of wheel system we're gonna to discuss today is going to be removing a rear disc wheel. Common on mountain bikes, most gravel and cyclocross bikes and a lot of road bikes nowadays. A disc wheel is actually a lot easier than a, a caliper of any sort. Um, so, there's no brake to release. The first thing we need to do is shift our derailleur up to our highest gear there, our hardest gear to pedal. Release the skewer, pull back on the derailleur, and the wheel comes right out. Reinstalling is the exact opposite. Roll the wheel back in, set the chain on top of the cassette. Pull your derailleur out. When reinstalling the disc brake, we do have to make sure the rotor goes back into the caliper. Looking down at the caliper, you can see the rotor slide right in. You just want to make sure it sits evenly in between. Close the skewer and your wheels installed. It's been Drew with Bike Peddler Cycling Fitness in Greeley, Colorado with another Tech Tip Tuesday. Thanks for watching and tune again next week.